Hi there. You ready for more training? Cool, let's go. Hey, you ready to get moving? Come follow me. So let's go ahead and practice the launch. So if you remember how the launch ring works, you want to hold onto the ring and use your other hand to press this launch button to activate the ring and launch out into the arena. A couple tips that'll make the game way more enjoyable is where you hold the ring. A lot of people start out holding the ring at the 12 o'clock position. This feels cool, but over time, this is really hard on your shoulder as you continue to pull over the top of your head. So the best place, or the most gentle on your shoulder place to hold, is down here at the four or five o'clock position. This allows you to pull straight by your hips and keeping your shoulder down and relaxed. So you don't have to worry about pulling up over your head or pulling by your headset, just keeping it low by your waist, easy on your shoulder. So why don't you go ahead and grab the ring and let's launch out into the, into the arena. Oh, get it! Alright, you see how it was a little hard to turn around quickly there? That's because when you're out in an open space, it's hard to stop and redirect your momentum. So it's important when flying in the arena to try and keep yourself close to an object that'll allow you to grab on and redirect your speed quickly or your direction quickly. So that includes anything like the floor, the walls, the islands, other players, anything that you could get a hold of and change your direction quickly. So if you're moving this way and you want to go back down, make sure you're near this so you could go back down. If you need to go up, go up. It's much faster than trying to stop and boost and go down that way. It's just not it's easy. So why don't you try flying up to the island in the middle there and redirecting and coming back down quickly. There you go. Right? Easy. Okay. The disc is now at the other end of the arena and we need to get over there quickly. So now's the best time to use other players to boost. Let's go. Okay, let's boost. Oop. All right, so when you're gonna use a teammate to boost off of and you're in that position where one person is behind and one person is in front, there's a right of way when playing the game. So what you need to do is the person in front has the right of way. If you see someone and they see you and you're gonna boost off each other, let the person in front boost off of you if you're behind. This allows you to keep your max speed and them to get your max speed plus their pull off speed, which is the best you can do when boosting. So let's try it again and use the right of way this time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna boost. Okay, this is headed towards our goal. Let's get down there quick. You take the lead. Go ahead, boost. Nice. I'm gonna get that disc. Oh no! He got me with which, what is called a punch boost or a boop and scoop, as I like to call it. So what happened there was he grabbed onto me and punched me, stunning me, but before I stopped, he used my momentum to launch himself forward. So similar to just launching off of a player, but in this case, you stun the other player to stop them while you continue to move. This is a very important move and one of my favorites. So let's go see if we can convince Jax to help us out with this. Nice. 
Okay, boost off me. And pull straight through my head. So what I was able to do there, since you pulled straight through my head, was I was able to re-grab you as you pulled through, and then I boosted off of you, gaining the speed that you gained from my speed, so it compounds the speed. So, re-grabbing is a way to build up speed with a teammate very, very quickly. You could also do this on a unaware opponent who might not realize that by pulling straight through you, they're opening you up to a free boost. If you're quick on the re-grab. So you want to practice re-grabbing down the arena? Nice. Awesome. Well, I hope all that was helpful. So I'll see you next time. Super Troopa, Super Troopa, Super Troopa, and he sells soup.